I just found out you're from San Antonio, Texas. I used to live there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it there? I loved it there. It was hot. I mean, hot as hot. hot could be during the summer, but that's cool. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. freaking out about the weather here, but it's just, it's normal to me. I know. It's yeah. so hot down there. You were supposed to hit record temperatures here in New York today. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so I heard that yesterday on the news. Like stay in the AC. If you're from Texas, you know. It's like yeah. from the car to the house, from the house to the car. <laughs> exactly. It's a Taco Cabana, the drive through then back to the house. You know Taco Cabana. Yeah, yeah of course. Congratulations Thank on everything. You. you know what? We actually hosted uh, Q102's Springle Ball in Philadelphia. That's awesome. And uh, when we were outside uh, giving away passes to meet you, yeah. people, I mean, it was violent what people were doing yeah, to meet you. Yeah. Really? really? Why? Oh, yeah, why do people want to meet you? What's your deal? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. I love my fans. Well, uh, I think we have some of that Yeah, here. we have the sound of that. Yeah, this was Scary awarding some girls with some okay. passes. Yeah. Scary you want was, to set this up for him? Well, Scary was trying to bite off of your popularity, and he was trying to woo the ladies. So he got some <laughs> passes, and he decided to go and um, get their reactions. Yes. Yeah. Nice. This is him biting off your uh, your popularity. Yes. Very okay. well put. Yeah. What's your names? Becca and Ashley. Hi, Scary Jones here from Elvis the Rancho. Oh, I love you. Hi. I love you. Hey, you guys are fans of who? Austin Mahone. Big Austin Mahone fans? Yeah. Would you go crazy if you got to meet him right now? Yes! You want to meet him right now? Yes! I got some passes for you guys to meet him right now! Yes! <laughs> That's so cute. I don't even think That's he had so passes cute. right no. I think he was just pretending he had passes. He hides them up like crazy. <laughs> when you meet these fans, do you ever try and find a way to get their phone numbers, or do you stay clear of them completely? No, I stay, I stay clear. How come? I don't know. It's, it's business and pleasure. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Is that why? No, I'm single. You're single? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, but there's got to be some of these people who come through and you're like, wow, she's really hot. So how Sometimes. do you make that move? Do you have one of your people go and get the phone number or you just would never go there? <laughs> no, I, I just, I think they're cute. I'm just like, they're cute. All yeah. right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing. A little advice from uh, old Uncle Elvis. Yeah. Okay. Which sounds kind of pervy. <laughs> old Uncle Elvis. There's always going to be cute girls and cute women forevermore. Yes. Right now you're focusing, obviously on your music on the music yeah and when justin bieber was here a few minutes ago and it was cool because they you guys met for the very first time out in the hallway yeah it was awesome yeah the weirdest people hang out here it's like you never know who's going to be in the hallway yeah but he, we asked him we said look austin mahone is going to be on in a few minutes do you have any advice for him and he said you know just work hard it's just about working hard and, and making good music and if you do that then you should be good and, and keep good people around you. You make it sound simple, but those are all very, very important yeah. things. You gotta stay consistent. I mean, some people work hard to get into the top, and then once they get to the top, they're like, oh, I'm here, well, I'm good, I can stop working. But it's like, you have to maintain yourself. You have to keep working to stay on top. Are you ready for a life of this? I think I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. I heard that. I was in the other room. I was listening to it. Oh, well, I take all that back. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, no. you've seen. I mean, you've seen so far in your career. It is a lot of hard work, and you it do have to be surrounded work. by yeah. great people. I am surrounded by great people. These guys are awesome. Yeah. And and they, they look out for you. Yeah, they yeah. do. And this is just the beginning of like the screaming girls. Are you used to it yet, or are you like this I'm, is I'm crazy? getting used to it. Are you? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> do you have like a celebrity crush? Like, do you have somebody who, if you could date anyone in Hollywood or other than somebody? Carolina? Well, yeah, because I'm taken. That's the only reason why. But <laughs> okay. no. So, who would you date if you possibly could? Um, Dream girl. I think Stephanie Scott is cute. Who's that? She's uh, on Disney Channel. Oh, that's oh. so cute. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Adorable. What about Kate Upton? She's hot. you got to check her out. Have you ever I, seen her? She's a little older. She's, she's old, old for him. Yeah. She's, she's old on, the, woman. She, on the History Channel. She could teach him things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, you know, performing on a radio show is kind of it's kind of an odd thing, and you're about to do so, correct? Yeah. You brought the guitar. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. I'm ready. Now, see, keep in mind when you go into a studio to record. I'm not, I'm not saying they use all sorts of machines to make you sound better than ever. Yeah. But they, you do sound great in a studio because you have reverb behind you. Sounds like you're in a concert hall yeah, and real deal. all sorts of instruments. Here, it's just you, a guitar, and a microphone. Yeah. It's like walking on a tightrope without a net. Yeah. You could, you could really mess this up. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm positive. All right. All right. <laughs> of course I want to do it. All right. So um, let me let me get this ready. Are, okay. who, you're playing your own guitar? Yeah. Stop it. Really? Yes. You know how to do that? Yes. All right. I don't, we're not used to talented people being around here. Okay. People who can multitask. All right, here we go. Scary, do you know how to... Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Here we go. Seriously, we don't... It does, it's... It's just a studio with yeah. just microphone in, in, microphones in you. I know. I'm ready. And you don't mind. No. Your full confidence is going to be good. All yeah. right. I'm ready. Is this, is this say something? Yeah, it's to say something. All right. Scary, you're in charge here. I'm going to back okay. away. I'm scared. I'm frightened. <laughs> right. Here we go. Austin Mahone stepping up to the mic. Can people hear me? Or is it, I'm, I'm thinking this, or am I saying this out loud? Oh, yeah, I'm saying this out loud. Yeah. Right, hear me. Yeah, 
guys ready? Yeah. I see you walk by extra fly, baby. Where you going, Carol? Whoa, whoa. Living beach life, feeling right. You're the hottest everybody knows. Whoa, whoa. Burn it up, burn it up. Show them what you got. Yeah, you got it, baby. Let it show. Uh-huh. turn it up, turn it up, let me know what's up. Don't you stand there, girl, I gotta know. Uh-huh, say something. If you're feeling the vibe, say something. Baby, don't be so shy, say something. Cause you're all in my head like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Say something. Cause you're driving me crazy, say something Cause you're driving me wild, say something The way you're working it, baby, is oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Thank you. Wow, you didn't screw that up at all. Yeah. Thank you very much. Seriously. Yeah, he didn't. This is how we judge a performance. You didn't screw that up at all. That was great. <laughs> really, no, we've had people come in. I mean, superstars. I don't want to say any names who come up here early in the morning and they, the pipes aren't ready to go. And we're like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's live radio. We can't erase. You did a great job. Thank that was awesome. You. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you very much. So, um, why? Why do you want to be a musician well, for a living? Why is this what you want to do with the rest of your life? I just, I, I never was a musical person growing up. I came from like a family of like, like cowboys and stuff and ranchers. Right. And like I spent a lot of time alone in my room just like playing my guitar and playing drums. And the more I played and played and practiced, the more I got in touch with music and it just felt true to me that like this is what I wanted to do. Well, having having a son uh, playing the guitar in the bedroom could be kind of cool, but the drums must have driven everyone pretty oh. crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I'm, and I'm glad you played guitar and not drums today. That'd be a really weird yeah. sound song, just a drum and you. Nah, that'd be cool. Uh, so, like, when you told your mom, did you tell your mom, Mom, I want to do this, and, you know, can you help well, me Oh, actually, I, I wanted to play drums. That was my first instrument, and I played that when I was six. And at 14, my mom was like, like, play guitar, and I was like, nah, I don't know. I like drums way better. And then, like, she just finally bought me a guitar. I played it and just played it, and I loved it so much. You know and it's my favorite instrument. The drums were driving her crazy. That's <laughs> yeah, that's probably, that's probably it. Yes. I love the name of his fans, Mahoney's. Mahomies. Mahomies. <laughs> yeah. Mahomies. Mahomies. Yeah. Mahomies. You got a name. You have a Mahomie from Oklahoma that stayed up all night to listen to this. Really? That's tweeted in. Yeah. Wow. I, I kind of That's home. amazing. Yeah. From so, Oklahoma? From Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. All night. So yeah. have you had a chance to uh, go shopping? I mean, uh, now that you're you're hitting the celeb thing and you're yeah, doing Yeah, I, I still go shopping What's the first cool thing you bought yourself um, after, uh, after you started, like, getting out there? I haven't really bought any cool things yet. Oh, come on, let's go shopping. Let's, yeah, let's go spend I'm his ready. money. Let's go. We're going to spend Austin's money. Totally. Yeah, how does that work? work? When you're underage and you don't have control of your bank accounts, do your parents have to give you a check every few weeks, or how does it work? No, I I, uh, I have, like, an allowance, and my mom will put, like, I have this debit card, and my mom will put money on there, and then I just buy stuff. What's, what's your What's your yeah, secret what, code? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> how much did she put on there? I want to know. Uh, no, these are, oh, okay. It's we're, we're asking the important questions. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So, you know what? In this day and age, uh, with Justin or with Bieber or the, all the other artists we have up here, it's about the collaboration. Yeah. Uh, who is it that you think you would really, really work well with as far as collaboration goes with your music? Well, I haven't really thought about that yet, but um, I think it'd be cool maybe to work with uh, Neo. Um, I want to work with Drake. Right. Oh, He's oh, one of my yeah. favorite artists, yeah. and maybe even Biebs. So. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> Do you think right. Biebs would be threatened by you at all because you're the next upcoming guy? I don't think so. No? No. I think we're cool now. <laughs> yeah, you just, I saw you meet for the first time out there. He yeah. seemed like he was really happy to meet yeah, you. Yeah, he's an awesome dude. He didn't look nervous. He looked good. Yeah, yeah he looked okay. He he's good. okay. But you know what? We've, we've, we've known. I, I keep bringing Justin Bieber up, and I don't want to. Com I don't want to compare you to him at all because you're, you're apples and oranges. But <laughs> when it, as it comes to beginning your career as, a little younger than other artists and growing into it, just like Justin did, mm -hmm. we, we've known him since the very beginning. We've watched him grow. We've yeah. watched. We've watched him work really hard. And sometimes, and I've, and I've shared this with him, we've all shared this with him before, sometimes we, we kind of want to, like, protect him from mm -hmm. the craziness of this world that you're entering now, which you've definitely seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything about it so far that has kind of startled you or made you go, oh, my God, this is crazier than I thought? Um, well, 
My first big like fan experience was I, I was in Chicago uh, last year, mm -hmm. and I went there and I just tweeted out I was like, yo, like meet and greet in one hour at the Bean. Like I, I just thought like 50 girls would show up, and then I went there and they were just like, ah. yeah, like, climbing over bushes and coming down from trees. They were like, sliding down the Bean. There was like a thousand girls there. And yeah. the police just like shut it down. What this was the craziest one-on-one -on -one fan interaction that you had? I haven't really had Nothing any crazy stuff. Not, 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 not yet. Would you, <laughs> not yet. Would you like one? <laughs> Carolina, go nutty. No, I mean, you do. You really do. You have so many fans and so many people. Uh, yeah. Mally stayed up from Louisiana. And, you know, I just have to ask you a question because you're so well-spoken. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you. I Are you a mama's it. boy? Um... I mean, I guess so. Kind of? Because yeah. you, you really have not been affected, you can tell by the industry just yet. And, you know, just something for you to think about. Justin Bieber was always compared to Justin Timberlake. You yeah. know, there are always going to be comparisons. But, you know, it seems like you're creating your own little, you, well, I'm you trying know, to, your own I'm lane. I'm trying to carve out my own path. That's right. That's what I'm trying to do. So. Excellent. For you. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Thank Austin. You. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And, and so, you know, just uh, like Justin's a member of our family, you always have a, you always have a place to come Thank and you. join us. That. And we'll get the word out. We'll play your music. Thank hang you. out. Carb load. Our friends at Dominic's brought yeah. a ton of cannoli, nice. crazy fattening food. Let's <laughs> fatten you up. You're a little too skinny. No. <laughs> You're a little too thin. Uh, but uh, Austin Mahone, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys so much for having uh, me. Say something, of course, available on iTunes and Austin yes. Mahone all over the web. That was, yes. that we, I mean, at what, what's your Twitter handle? At Austin Mahone. I never would have guessed it. <laughs> all right, Austin, thanks for coming in. Thank you guys. Austin so Mahone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Join the fun at ElvisDuran.com.